I really am struggling to hold all of these gadgets. Welcome to the latest Mega Gadget Collection. So the first product I want to show you is the iT5e action camera. And what sets this apart from the competition is the price. And in fact, all of the products I show you in this video, I will leave links to them down in the video description area. So this is capable of capturing 4K 30 frames per second, also 2.5K 60 frames per second, 1080p 120 frames per second, and 720p up to 240 frames per second. F2.8 aperture on the lens and a field of view of 170 degrees. Now I've got power on off button on the front, with a Wi-Fi LED, which of course means the camera has got Wi-Fi in. This is really nice to see. Proper tripod mount on the bottom, controls on the side, a little control on the top for the Wi-Fi, screen on the back, and then on this side we've got the micro HDMI, micro USB, and also the micro SD card slot. It does come supplied with a few accessories inside the box, including a waterproof housing. I did have an issue with this. This top plastic section did come off. It is easy to repair. It's just held on by a metal clip, but worth mentioning that. So if you're in the market for a decent action camera without spending a lot of money, then the iT5e is well worth checking out. So next up, we've got this product from Macali. This is their car cup holder mount with USB charger, the M cup power. And this is really useful for if you actually want to charge your devices and have a good position to hold your smartphone whilst you're on the go. Now you do get a power cable. This plugs into your 12 volt vehicle accessory socket. The other end goes into the section down here. And what this allows you to do, and it does work extremely well, is you've got this section here that goes into your vehicle accessory cup holder. And it's got a really sort of strong mount and then we've got this articulating arm coming out the top so we can position this pretty much however we want. We've also got a ball joint here which we can tighten and loosen and this allows us to angle the smartphone holder. And then we've got the smartphone holder itself. There's two little feet that flip out from the bottom and the maximum width that this goes up to is 105 millimeters. And this is the sort of section where the power comes into play. This is where that cable plugs into just here and then we've got two cigarette lighter sockets and then underneath this flap here we've got two USB sockets for charging two separate devices whilst you're on the go. A very, very useful device. So I'm going to stay on the subject of power. This is the T-Rich USB smart charging socket. This is really very, very useful indeed. It's not really designed to be put on the floor. It's designed to be put on the back end of a desk perhaps and it's got two three-pin UK sockets on the top. On this side here, we've got the power switch for those two sockets. This is where you put the power cable, which comes supplied inside the box. It's like one of these IEC uh, sockets just here. Now, not only have you got these two handy reach three pin UK plugs, if you look on this side here, you've got four USB charging sockets as well. Another power switch, which controls these sockets. And these automatically identify the amperage that your device needs. So if you're charging a smartphone or a tablet, it charges between one amps and 2.4 amps output. Very, very useful indeed having all of these sockets on one handy product. Moving on, let's have a look at a really great value for money pair of wireless headphones. These are the Groove E Rhythm. So these connect via Bluetooth. They're very, very lightweight. Quite a cheap grade of plastic on the outside here that does show fingerprints. But these are all about value for money. So we've got enough sort of flex on that headband, minimal amount of padding, and then this sort of wire construction which allows us to adjust the size of the headphones as well. A nice amount of padding on the ear cups. Very, very comfortable. These are on-ear rather than over-ear. And then we've got some controls along one of the ear cups for volume, power. Also, you can hardwire these as well. So you can put a three and a half millimeter audio cable to your device if you want to. And then we've got the micro USB charging socket. You're not gonna be overly impressed with the audio quality. It's more than adequate. We've got good detail, not very convincing bass, but the mid tones and the higher frequencies are more than acceptable. And these just come in at a really fantastic price point. If you want a lightweight pair of headphones that you haven't got to worry about, these are well worth checking out. This is the Macali aluminium laptop stand. And if you work at your desk on a laptop and you want to actually connect this to maybe an external monitor, 
or indeed just make your setup more ergonomic, then a laptop stand is highly recommended. It raises the laptop up to a really nice working height and allows you to really get the most out of it. And this particular laptop stand is really well designed. You do have to sort of uh, put it together yourself. It's just a ma simple matter of putting in some little tiny bolts on the base here and also attaching this sort of brace at the back. But this has got some nice rubberized feet on the bottom so it's not going to scratch your desk. And the same applies to the top surface as well. This is where your laptop's going to go. Nice rubberized sections here as well. So again, it's not going to get scratched. And then we've also got little rubber tips on these portions here. And this is to stop your laptop from falling off of the stand. It's very, very well made, nice and lightweight and a really good quality finish, a nice sort of silver powder coat into it. I really like laptop stands and it really does mean that not only does this raise the laptop and the screen up to a nice working level, it also gives you some area underneath where you can maybe put a wireless keyboard when not in use. This is the Macaulay Aluminium laptop stand. So we've got summer just around the corner and hopefully we can harness some of that sun's power and turn it into energy. And I've got a couple of products here from Wacker Wacker. What an awesome company name, first of all. We've got the base 10 pack here, and then I'm also gonna show you an additional little tiny pocket light, because you can buy the accessories separately. But this is like a big portable solar power and light kit. Now, the first thing I do wanna say, which is a little bit of a negative, is it's sort of over-designed packaging. It was very, very sort of cumbersome to open. It all sort of fell apart. So I'm not a fan on the packaging. What I am a fan of is the actual contents. And the first bit I wanna show you is this. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Absolutely awesome, one of the best battery packs I've seen. It's not sleek like some battery packs I've reviewed, but it is very tough and rugged. It's got a button on the front which gives you some feedback as to what's happening with the power pack. Uh, this gives you an indication of how much battery juice is left inside. Now on the side here, and this is really cool because these are all sealed, so this is sort of waterproof as well, are all of the connections. So we've got a connection there for charging, just there. And then we've also got micro USB. And then we've also got, if I can just open these, some extra ones here. They are very tricky because we want this to be watertight. So we've got some additional USBs here as well. It's all rubberized around this section here. And it's just a really cool power pack. On the side here, uh, we've got the uh, Wacker Wacker branding as well. Very nice. We're not going to lose this, this because of the colour. I just absolutely love it. So that's sort of the power pack section of this kit. Now you also get a bag to carry everything around in. So that's really nice. And again, it's a, just a really nice simple bag, nice and brightly coloured. Ideal for if you're going on sort of an action adventure holiday or you're just simply going down the beach, you can put all of your accessories in here or indeed if you're going camping, which is where I really think that the actual, um, uh, the little flashlights will come into play. So let's take a look at this bit here. This is a solar panel. It's got an integrated cord, and this actually plugs in to the power pack here, so you can charge that battery. You can also use things whilst the battery is charging, so that's really cool. And this simply folds out like so to reveal four solar panels. And this is really robust as well. And it's made of like this tarpaulin type uh, material. So really just a great construction. We've also got some elastic loops here so you can hang this on something or just for organizational purposes, you could put the cable round there as well and keep everything nice and tidy. So that's the solar panel and Next up, we've got these power cables. So these are micro USB to full size USB. You get a couple of those inside the, the starter pack. And inside the starter pack, you also get these little torches or flashlights. Now this one here, I haven't been able to get to work. I've tried charging it and I just can't get this little one to work, which is a little bit of a shame. But they come on like these little uh, sort of stands so you can stand them up or hang them. Very, very useful indeed. And then you get a slightly larger one. This is the pocket light, and this is what's also available separately. So you can buy these flashlights separate or as part of the starter kit. And we've got sort of a couple of sockets on here as well for power. We've got a 
full size USB on this side, micro USB on this side, and then we've got the little button to turn the flashlight on. And then each time you push the button, it reduces the brightness of the light. So we've got three levels of brightness. And everything just works extremely well. And again, of course, these are waterproof. Everything's got sort of rubber grommets around it to seal them like so. And it's just a really handy flashlight. If you do a lot of traveling, and especially a lot of camping and action sports, and you need something like this to charge your devices and to give you some additional light during the nighttime, this is an absolutely amazing kit. And I just really like how rugged everything is. So I've got a couple more products to show you, and this next one is from Macali. This is a 72 watt USB-C and USB-A wall charger. The product code for this one is HOME72UC. Now these are very, very useful indeed, but this is like an updated version of a USB wall charger. And I really recommend these. In fact, I've got quite a few of these dotted around both the studio and the editing room. And I recommend getting a couple, one for maybe the top of your desk, and I've also got one Velcro to the underside of my desk as well. And what this allows you to do is you plug this into the main sort of wall socket, and then you've got four very handy USB charging sockets. Now, as I mentioned before, this is like an updated version because not only have we got standard USB-A connectors here with 2.4 amp output, we've also got a USB-C connector on the top here with a 3 amp, 5 to 20 volt output. It's a very, very useful device and I really love mine and I just can't recommend something like this enough. It saves you searching around for your specific device chargers and you can just plug them all into this. Very, very useful indeed and I really do highly recommend it. So last but not least, we have got one of the very latest web cameras on the market. This is the Logitech Brio, and this is a 4K capable professional web camera. So let's take a closer look. This is just beautifully made. Obviously glass across the front, and you can see the various sensors, and of course that all important lens. The actual enclosures of the camera is metal, and we've got a micro USB socket on the back there. And then we've got this flexible bracket, which allows you to position this either on your desk or on the back of a monitor. And it's just a superb web camera. It's actually got HDR technology in it, which really does give you a stunning image, and it will deliver up to 4K Ultra HD, 30 frames per second video. Now obviously that's gonna take a lot of bandwidth, so this will actually work with 1080p as well, at either 30 or 60 frames per second. And the quality really is amazing. This is the Logitech Brio. If you wanna step up your game and you do a lot of web streaming, or in fact video conferencing, this is absolutely awesome. This is the future of web cameras and it is absolutely the best on the market today. This is the Logitech Brio. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button. I'll leave links to all of the products you've seen in the video description. And I'll see you in another video very soon.